Hey, welcome back to your Caribou Data Science channel, Buckeye Nation. Today is, well, today is uh, Thursday, September the 23rd, of course, and it's time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. Before we get started, a big shout out to the six people from Ohio who watched this video yesterday, and a special shout out to the five young people who watched the video yesterday. Thank you so much for every single one of those views. Of course, I'd really like to see a like to go along with each one of these views, so five so six likes to go along with the six views would be fantastic. Of course, uh, I know that you know somebody who's interested in the numbers without any political hype or propaganda. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to give you the plain, simple numbers. And I also want you to share these numbers, this video, with your friends and your family today. All you got to do to share the video is click on the share button and, then, and, and, and share it on Facebook and Twitter. You can also take the link to the video and share it in emails and text messages. By all means, share the news of this video with your friends and family today, okay? Now, a couple of, a couple of things we always need to keep in mind about Ohio is that, that's that the, uh, back in February 2021, 20, uh, February this year, the governor's office came out and said, oops, we undercounted COVID-19 deaths by close to 4,000 during the fourth quarter of 2020. And of course, rather than going back and correcting the data and reissuing the corrected data, they simply add the numbers onto the, the roughly 4,000 on the February 11th, 12th, and 13th of this year, 2021. Which means that the numbers for last year are undercounted by, not only the Ohio's numbers are undercounted by 4,000 for last year, but the national numbers are also undercounted by 4,000 as a result of, as a result of this of this uh, oversight on uh, Ohio's, Ohio's uh, fault. Uh, and it also means that, the, that, that so far for this, for this year, the COVID-19 deaths are overcounted by a minimum of 4,000 because of Ohio's uh, adjustments, okay? And if that's not enough, the governor, somewhere, somewhere in the middle of summer, someone decided to go from a seven-day reporting cycle for deaths, deaths only, to a five-day reporting cycle. Now, if that's not enough, the, de the, the five the, 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 the five days in which the numbers are reported isn't the same every week, okay? So our solution to these problems is, first of all, to replace the, the February 11th, 12th, and 13th with the average number of deaths per day, okay? And secondly, to use a, a moving average on top of the numbers to, be, to, to compensate for the, uh, for, the, for the spikes, okay? So what have we got here? Let's just see some. Let's change this to a line. Let's change this to a line. Let's change this to a line. And let's change this to a line. Okay, so let's just take a look at these numbers here for the state of Ohio. Okay, so th this is the raw numbers here. This is this is, this reflects the 4,000 deaths that was added on February 11th, 12th, and 13th. These, of course, are the 4,000 deaths that were undercounted for, for, for in the fourth quarter 2020. So we replace these numbers with the daily average for these three days. This is a much better fit. These numbers could be a little higher, could be a little low, but they're still a much better fit. Okay. What about deaths? Well, uh, well, this is so. This is the fourth quarter over here. So this is the fourth quarter to here, right? These numbers back over here were undercounted at some point. The governor has said most in December. So, so I mean, if that's the case, that means say this block, these numbers right here were undercounted by four thousand. Okay, and these numbers over here were overcounted by four thousand. Okay, 
you know, think about it. If, if they go back and fix the numbers, the numbers would actually have been better because that means this number be because the, the numbers are restored back over to here. Okay, what that would mean is, is that uh, is that this decline in deaths would be much would be more impressive because instead of going from December, it would have gone up from up in here all the way down. But nonetheless, you can see a declining pattern here. Now, beginning in July, deaths began to increase. Okay, so you can see Ohio's deaths are increasing. Now, here's a question. How many of these people were vaccinated? Okay, what about deaths? Well, these are, these are weekly cases. These are weekly deaths. How many of these people over here were vaccinated? How many of these people all the way back to January were vaccinated? Hmm? What about cases? Well, what you can see here, you can see again, that increase in cases. Now, keep in mind that the COVID-19 vaccine will not keep you from getting uh, getting COVID-19. What it's designed to do is to reduce the chances that you'll die from COVID-19. So this this is the trouble, because if these numbers never never decline, never slow down, the government's going to continue to have excuse to 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 impose lockdowns and restrictions on the American people. Okay, that's the problem with COVID-19. And you can see here, so you can, so you can see here, you can see again this increase in, uh, in deaths, Ohio deaths. And what about cases? Well, again, it, you can probably ignore this because this is probably just, the, this, this, is, this could very well be the, 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 the uh, two days in which they didn't count COVID-19 data for cases, okay? But anyway, how many of these people were vaccinated? How many of these people were vaccinated? So anyway, Buckeye Nation, that does include your report for today. Uh, fortunately, it's not a particularly encouraging report. Certainly cases uh, are, not are not very encouraging. And unfortunately, cases will, for the, for the foreseeable future, will, not, will actually be more discouraging than encouraging. Although we can hope that the COVID-19 vaccine will reduce the number of deaths, okay, which is what it's basically designed to do. Thanks so much for your time again, Buckeye Nation. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.